right, let's get right into this. So I am using 123D Design. It's a free program, but you can model this in anything. You could use SketchUp, you could use Onshape, you could use Tinkercad, you could use OpenSCAD, you could use 3ds Max. Like there are just Fusion 360. There are just a ton of 3D modeling software out there. I'm using 123D Design because I'm not that great at it, and I'm trying to get better, more proficient. So let's get started. So I want to start off with the stand. So I'm going to choose the sketch a rectangle tool here. I'm going to click the grid, and this is all going to be relative. So I'm just going to go for something that is two blocks thick and that should be good right there now this says it's 10 millimeters it's not gonna be that thick in the end so once we have that we're gonna go and create some text Again, click the grid we'll click here and this is for my teacher and his last name is crisp so I gave him a nickname back when I was in school, Crispy. So we're going to find a good font here. Um, you want something that's nice and thick. You can always bold it as well. Um, impact is always good to go with. Uh, let's see if we got impact in here. Yes. I like that. You can always bold it. Um, we'll see here. I'm going to make the height 100. That's too much. 50. Should be good. We can always scale that later. So we are going to get this roughly centered. Now this font has a little issue where it hangs below. So I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do about that actually. Let's edit the text to see if we can get a different font that doesn't do that. Oh, I know what we can do. We can go back to impact, change it to that, that way they're all on the same level. I just changed them between uppercase and lowercase. So we're going to inset it just a hair. And then we're going to go over here to extrude. Click here. Bring this up a good amount. And then we're going to bring this up a little bit less because we want it to look like it's a stand. Now actually I'm gonna to have to move this off when I extrude it or else it'll extrude cut. So we'll give that good distance there then we'll transform this and move this come on work with me here. There we go. Move this a good distance. Okay. So now we can delete that Delete that. Okay. Here we go. So this is cool because it has a flat plane on the bottom, so it's easily printable. But when you're looking at it, it looks like the text is set onto the stand. Um, this looks pretty aligned, but if you are not feeling it, you could always use the align tool. Not sure where it is. It's in here somewhere. But then what we're, we're going to do is we're going to go to merge, click, click, click. And now they are one solid mesh. So then we're going to go over here, export as 3D, STL. The coarse, medium, fine, this is a really simple mesh, so that doesn't matter. We're going to export, we're going to throw it on the desktop. Give it a name. Close this. Uh, you normally want to keep this open until it's fully printed, but I know this design works. So then we're going to open up our STL in uh, Simplify 3D. And I'm going to rotate this just a little bit because I want to be able to see it while it's printing. And I don't know if I gave that a good 90 degree rotation. Oh, I was close. 
there we go so then we're gonna go to our print settings here this is I'm gonna print this in black ABS normal is fine um, so, uh, that support we want a good amount of top layers because the top is gonna be the front of what we see um, fast honeycomb is good external fill pattern we could go concentric or rectilinear since we have hard angles rectilinear is gonna look the best um, infill angles offsets don't want to mess with that check our temperatures everything's good um, then we're just gonna press OK prepare to print and it's gonna take an hour and we'll send it off <laughs>